This is the Arctic fox, and Arctic foxes are very hardy, adaptable animals, and part of the reason for that is they are not picky eaters. They will eat anything. They will eat uh, seals and eggs and birds, but they'll also eat insects and berries. They will even, if they have to, if times are lean, they'll eat the dung of other animals. So when we say they're not picky, we really mean that they are not picky. And they oftentimes follow polar bears around because polar bears are pretty adept at making a kill pretty regularly. And the Arctic fox knows that there's usually some leftovers after that and so it can have its fill as well. And if it has an abundance of food, it will bury the remains in the snow and come back to it later when it doesn't have as much food, which is very smart. And that's the nice thing about living in the Arctic regions. Food doesn't really spoil there because you're living inside of a giant freezer. I don't know how appetizing the food is after it's been frozen over, but apparently the Arctic fox doesn't really mind. The Arctic fox is well adapted to a cold environment. Their hair is about 70% thick under fur. So if you were to touch an Arctic fox, it would feel like a very plush stuffed animal. They're just incredibly thick coated. And then it has fur on the soles of its feet. So that helps keep it a little bit warmer when it's walking on the snow. It has short stubby ears, a short snout that helps retain heat. And they have this thick bushy tail so that when things are really cold, they can wrap it around the parts of their body that are a little bit more prone to being cold. And it's very effective. The Arctic fox doesn't start to shiver from the cold until it drops below negative 90 degrees Fahrenheit, which is incredibly cold. And this coat that you see here is their winter coat. During the summer when the snow starts to melt, or in areas where it's a little bit warmer, the Arctic fox has a bluish brown coat. And in areas where it's just kind of warmer all year, it'll be bluish brown all year. And they travel widely, mostly because food is kind of scarce in the Arctic region, so they have to constantly be on the move. There's an example of an Arctic fox who was captured and tagged on Banks Island, which is off the northern coast of Canada. And then they found it eight months later on the Canadian mainland almost 900 miles away. So they just really move around a lot, mostly because they're just constantly on the lookout for food. They're primarily solitary animals, but they also form breeding pairs for life. So the same male and the same female always come together during the breeding season every year. And they uh, usually have a small litter of pups, somewhere between seven to 10 usually. And a vixen, a female fox from the year's previous litter, oftentimes comes to help out with the new pups, kind of get some on-the-job training. But after that, then they split up and they're solitary for most of the year. So that is the Arctic fox, a surprisingly hardy and very adaptable animal.